the future of online account management. This is not Star Trek. It's actually a lot closer than you might think. Hey S'mores, I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to Morse Code. I do tech reviews and tutorials, so if you are looking for in-depth tech and gadget content with a healthy dose of security and privacy, you have come to the right place. For the past several months, I have been sharing this series on identity and access management, aka IAM for short, and how many options do exist for better aka more secure, sign-ons and online account management. The more I have talked about this, the more I have noticed that others in the security community also feel the same way. Usernames and passwords are inherently insecure and better options, while currently available, need to be implemented by more companies and more sites so that it becomes the norm. This idea of abolishing human readable credentials as a way to access accounts has always seemed so out of the question, but it's not. And hopefully by sharing these concepts, it will become more acceptable to regular users. So to wrap up this entire series on IAM, let's talk about where do we go from here? What's in store for the future? Well, for starters, this episode is sponsored by WWPass and they are working towards this kind of future where we don't use usernames and passwords anymore. We use encrypted authentication options instead. So whether that's specific for team accounts on Zoom or Microsoft's online services, or whether it's just to access your own password safe using a passkey app because passwords are still used for most sites for access. Their services have shown me too that better options are available and they are accessible right now. We now know that services exist that can replace human readable authentication. Like for example, using proper QR codes that are dynamic and they change so that if an attacker copies the QR code, it can't authenticate them. This year, QR codes are actually making a big comeback. Since smartphones can now automatically read QR codes in a camera app, we are seeing them in use at restaurants to read a contactless menu because of COVID. So they could become the norm. Single sign-on, or SSO for short, is slowly becoming normalized too due to many folks now working from home and using one set of credentials to access all of their work accounts, making it a lot easier for businesses to properly audit who has access to important accounts, but also making it really easy for employees and users to keep track of their own accounts as well. Social media logins have become incredibly popular the past few years because users can easily log in with the click of a button and just pair their accounts with one social media account. So how do we end up making this type of authentication the new normal, even though I kind of hate that slogan, the new normal. I've heard it way too many times this year. How do we basically switch the human thinking of using non-human human readable authentication means or tie them with factors that only a computer can interpret, not an attacker. See, I believe that part of having good online security and privacy hygiene is always being aware of the potential of attacks and being aware of our own actions so that we don't end up being low hanging fruit for potential bad actors. Having an online identity comes with some sense of responsibility and it always will to ourselves, but also to the people around us because if you get hacked, somebody could probably access the information from your friend's account too if you are friends on a social media account, like look at Facebook. They could get access to all sorts of information that's privatized just for friends only. We need to protect our digital data in the best ways possible and we are starting to see a trend by companies to do the exact same. Companies do not want to be in the news headlines due to breaches or vulnerabilities, so they're starting to take approaches to implement better authentication. So the responsibility really falls on ourselves, but it also falls on companies we choose to do business with. WWPass's passkey can be set up to be a physical smart card or a physical token or even a smartphone app set up with biometrics like your fingerprint. And seeing that their products can be used with like Google's G Suite or Salesforce or Sugar CRM or WordPress or even OpenVPN, the list goes on and on. That gives me hope that we are getting closer 
to the future of better security. So here's an action step for everybody. This is what we need to do. We need companies to think ahead. Stop reacting to hacks by sending out a press release saying that we take your security very seriously and be proactive instead, not allowing those hacks to happen in the first place. We need companies to evolve and we should hold them accountable whenever they don't. We need to call them out whenever they get some kind of security breach. The convenience of our classic authentication options, like a username and password, is no longer a convenience. Sure, it's easy, but it's a security vulnerability just waiting to happen. It's not a best practice when we have learned through this series that better options do indeed exist, and they are insanely fast and very convenient. As users, we can implore companies to do better, and as employees at these companies, we can show them how they could save money by implementing a plan rather than reacting after the fact and potentially losing customers based on lost trust. Wide adoption is going to to be the change that we need to make better data security happen. So my question for you is, where do you see us going from here? Comment below on your thoughts. And I do want to say again, thank you so much to WWPass because this series would not be possible without their support. They've got really cool product options for users and for companies to solve these kind of issues. So check out everything WWPass has to offer over at the link in the description down below. Thank you again so much to my s'mores as well for subscribing and watching. I'm Shannon Morse and I will see you soon. Bye y'all.